What is up guys, Alex from The Walking Bread here, and I am bringing you the video that some of you have been asking for. Bear in mind, this video will have spoilers from issue 100 up to 163. Right, straight to it. I am going to show you what single issue Walking Dead comics I've got. Now, I only started collecting them uh, monthly at 109, but I decided just to go down to 100 and keep it there because it just seemed like a whole number so yay right let's get to it then first of all we have the second print in of the Michonne special I mean I, it's just a backstory of Michonne and then her first issue that she appeared in the same for the governor a little backstory and his first issue he appeared in. Oh, we got another special. Tyrese, his little backstory when he got the hammer. I, I, I. And the first issue he appeared in. Another special, which has all the backstories from Michonne, Tyrese, Morgan as well, I think. Yeah, and the governor. Uh, this was a free comic book day, but I had to buy it because I missed out. Tough times. The issue 1 10th anniversary edition which is full color inside um, obviously to celebrate in 10 years of Walking Dead and it has like this uh, well we got the motion comic up on the channel so if you haven't seen it you can go and check that out um, issue 100 this is one of the variant covers I was looking at getting the original cover but to be honest it's really hard to find 100 these days and I just always preferred this cover I like this cover all the dead people from the last hundred issues and Rick there because we all know what happens in issue 100 and if you don't well good luck getting there without it being spoiled by now then we got 101 we have Dwighty boy on the cover for something to fear part 5 um, half of these I haven't actually read because I've got like the volumes and the hardcovers and I read them online as well from Comixology. Mostly I just buy these for the cover because they're not too expensive and they're pretty cool covers. Like this one for example, part 6 of Something to Fear. Look at the blood. Damn, that is one gross looking machete. Uh, we got issue 103. Got Negan about to bash Rick's head in with Lucille. Completely symbolic. There we go. We got it in the end. 104 with Carl and his missing eye. And a big fucking machine gun. Because, hey, I'm pretty sure if he put that next to him, it would come up to his neck. So, fair play on him holding it. Points for effort, kid. We got another Carl. Uh, holding a gun with a reflection of zombies in his eyes. It looks pretty damn cool. We got 106. I don't know what cover this is. I think this might be a variant because 106 was the artist Ch uh, Charlie Adler's 100, 100th issue illustrating for it. So I think this might be a variant one he did. I uh, never got the original, but 106. I just wanted to get from 100 to where I am now. So this one, I liked it. Uh, it's got like those like moments from the comic. We got 107 Rick and Negan just looking down at Carl's hat. What the fuck happened? Now this is probably the one of the most expensive issues I've got, I guess now. And that is 108, the first appearance of Ezekiel and his fucking tiger. And this is where I started collecting them monthly. So I got 109. Maggie and Sophia looking at, spoiler, Glenn's grave at the hilltop. And you've got the mansion back there. 110, you got Ezekiel and Michonne sword fighting. This is a fucking great cover. 111 is probably one of my favourite covers. Got Negan there, blood dripping, blood fucking spewed all over his fucking face. Recently, this moment happened in the show. Damn, it's a good cover. Definitely one of my favorites. And then you got 112, and you got 113. Andrea's in the watchtower watching. 
because there's not really much else you can do in a watchtower. Then you got 114, Jesus kicking ass. And what the fuck is with this guy? Look at this guy. What the fuck is he doing? That looks like the most comical headlock ever. I mean, I guess if you think about it, getting a headlock from Jesus can be quite funny, but... Right, now we got the start of what, probably one of the biggest story arcs The Walking Dead has done to date. And that is All Out War Part 1. Now, this cover, specifically here with Rick stood on top of a car outside the sanctuary, that reminded me a lot of the governor standing on a tank outside the prison. Whatever you see on these covers doesn't necessarily happen in the issue, so not really a spoiler. They did like a load of variant covers, uh, I didn't want to buy them all, so I bought like my favourite one. And that was the governor because he was my favourite character at the time. And this one's a bit of a spoiler because he cuts Rick's hand off. Sorry. Uh, you got Michonne next to the governor's daughter Penny. And you got Glenn up here. Rest his soul. That kind of cover they did like 12 or something. I don't know. They basically all interconnected. Basically all of the biggest moments in The Walking Dead. I just had a sneezing fit. My god. I like my eyes just popped out. We got the second print in of 115, the first part of All Out War. Now this is a wraparound cover. It was a pretty badass cover and I don't know why I bought it. It just looked badass and I was just like, I think that's when I started getting into buying this alternate co uh, variant covers. All Out War Part 2, issue 116. Issue 117, All Out War Part 3. And 118, All Out War Part 4. 119, All Out War Part 5 of 12. We got Dwight there, we got an exploding window with Rick in the debris. We got Ezekiel looking all sh shocked and shit. Because, you know, if you have a tiger and you get shocked yourself, you know it's pretty shocking. 120, this is a damn good cover. You got Negan on the left there, Rick on the right. They're like looking each into each other's eyes, about to share each other's darkest, deepest fucking secrets. Maybe braid each other's hair a little bit. And then you got Michonne there, about to cut both of their heads off like, nah man, I'm shutting that shit down. 121, you got Negan there with his bat, which is very close to his dick. So maybe that was the idea there. Um, we're not gonna go into that anymore. 122, and we got 123, 124, issue 125. Got, this is a cool co cover. I think I like these co covers that have like the orange and red tints to it. Maybe that's it. And then the final issue for All Out War. And here we start the new beginning. We got Magna up there. This is like a double sized issue, I think. Then we got 128. After all this time, she should be more prepared. And you got this like really cool like, landscape sort of image. It could be that the zombies on top of her. 129. Even now, they still find new ways to dispose of the dead. Very long title. Very long. And then you got 130. There were whispers and I was afraid. You got a load of zombies at the top there. You got the rain splashing down on these two characters who are hiding in a trench. And the zombies are just walking past. That's a pretty damn cool cover. I like that one. So we got 131. A journey begins. You got Carl there. Uh, got another character and he looks like he's forging something. Dun dun dun. So we got 132. Happiness. Got Maggie there with little baby Herschel. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like a very optimistic cover. 133, impending doom. You got two people on horses and a shit ton of zombies following. 134, from whispers to screams. 135, face to face. You got Jesus there, and Maggie, and a captured Lydia, I do believe. And we got 136, found. And you got some whispers looking over at the hilltop you got a badass picture of carl here 137 a future uncertain he's got his eye all missing and shit hair all slicked back looking proper old and shit now they grow up so fast 138 confrontation and this is our first appearance of alpha i do believe 139 uh, i really like this cover from the edge of the world you got a rick looking out at a boat 140, Life and Death, got Sophia walking in on Maggie doing something. That came out much weirder than it should have done. 141, Opportunity, we got Negan all trimmed and 142, Gavrin. And I remember when this issue cover came out, everyone was thinking this guy here 
was Negan. And I feel like they did that on purpose, because that definitely does look like Negan. 143, a union. And there's Carl and Lydia holding hands, walking off into the sunset with the Whisperers. Pretty fucked up ending to a movie there. 144. This is the end of Compendium 3. This is the issue where the Whisperers have set out a border by putting like 12 characters' heads on spikes, including Ezekiel and Rosita. But I got two of them because it was such a big issue and I was just like, yeah, you know what? That could be worth a lot <laughs> in the future. Yeah, so I'm that kind of person. Now this is one of my favorite comic uh, covers and one of the most expensive ones I had to fucking buy. And that is 144 variant cover. This is a Skybound Comic-Con exclusive. And basically it's a wraparound, I think. Carl and Lydia, Michonne and Andrea there, load of zombies or whisperers. And I think around the back, it'll be Rick and Alpha. On to 145, Blood for Blood. 146, a breaking point reached. Maggie punching the shit out of Rick there. 147, out in the open. 148, no turning back. You on Alpha crying. Damn, that bitch is weak. Right, so I got 149. I love this cover. You got Negan there being the devil on your shoulder. Yeah, that's what the title is. 149, the devil on your shoulder. And then we got a variant cover for issue 150, which I fucking love this cover. I uh, got Rick there just blasting the shit out of some zombie. I think this cover is by Ryan Otley, I think. Yeah, Ryan Otley. There's a signature. Yeah, I fucking love that cover. It's good as shit, man. Come here, you little bastard. Original 150 cover. Betrayed. Got Rick there all bloody and shit with a massive 150 at background. And then we got the variant cover by Tony Moore, the original artist who did the issue one cover with a more updated Rick. And it does look like the place is more overgrown and shit. Now we got 151, a call to arms. We got Dwight there looking all badass with a crossbow and a machine gun and a fucking Lucille and a pistol and a grenade. My god, this guy is fucking stopped. What is he going to? World War fucking 3? Jesus. I think that's a bit overkill, mate. We got 152, United to, United in fear. There's a lot of propaganda, like Silence the Whisperers. You got Dwight and another character walking off doing patrols. Uh, you got 153, Heavy Hangs the Head. And this one is signed by Charlie Adler because I think I missed getting the original issue, so I had to buy a signed version to get the first print, which I'm not complaining about, but when I get things signed, I kind of like to get it signed myself. It's just not the same otherwise. 154, Led to Slaughter. You got Aaron and Michonne there fighting off a load of Whisperers. It looks like that's beta as well. Uh, this one was also signed by Charlie Adler. Once again, I missed this issue, so I had to buy the signed version. 155, tip of the spear. You got the saviors all walking out. And you got, uh, I think this is like a training thing. And then we got 156, queen and king. You got Alpha and Negan doing a little dance. Oh, that cannot end badly for either of them. Oh, shit. We got the first part of the Whisperer War. 157. And then with the Whisperer War, each one had this variant cover by an artist I cannot remember. But they do a connecting cover. And I just had to get them. Got Michonne there looking all badass, killing off some zombies, some whisperers, a bit of both. On to 158, got Negan there in red and Michonne there all badass, and they all just fell. The variant cover for part two, which has got Jesus fighting off whisperers and zombies. Pretty badass. Part three, 159, got Beta there at the top with Dwight leading the army. And then the variant cover, Andrea going all western, doing some like Matrix shit. 160, Whisper War Part 4 of 6. You got Carl there with Lydia at the bottom looking at her skin mask. The variant cover for Part 4 is Rick looking all crazy and shit. You know that crazy look he gets in his eye just before he's about to kill someone. And we got Part 5 of 6 of the Whisper War, 161. You got a burning hilltop in the background with Maggie looking pissed. Or sad and you got Eugene looking dark as fuck. The variant cover, Carl and Lydia being badass as shit. Ah you bastard. Stop falling on me. And then we got the final part of the Whisper of War, part six of six. You got Andrea <coughs> aiming at some whisperers. And then the final variant cover for the Whisper of War. You got Negan looking like the guy from the mask. 
uh, looking pretty fucking scary to be honest. And then we got the most recent issue, 163, that was 25 cents in America and like 23 pence over here in the UK. Uh, this was celebrating the 25 years of Image Comics. There was a couple of variant covers. They had a Rick dressing up as Negan as if he was going to a convention. And then they had a black and white version of that. But yeah, it was a fucking expensive and I was just like, yeah, I'm not doing it just for a little, uh, just for a picture as much as I loved it. Not worth, sorry. So that is all my single issue comics. My voice is starting to hurt now from all this fucking talking. My god, I didn't realize this was going to go on for so long. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I know some of you asked for this. So thank you guys for watching. And you will see me very soon for another video. But I'm not too sure what it will be. But it will be very soon. Very soon. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.